we have to somehow rebut this? Maybe. John's gonna be grounded for like a whole week. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> huh. Wait, so then no one was here. So technically... So it's your fault because you weren't monitoring the head? I mean, it's not his responsibility to monitor the head, so does that kind of get him out of it? We'll get, we'll get it, um, figured out. Or is the statute of limitations for the time between a head falling randomly on a person and a person being there to push the head or inadvertently leave a fan on the blow to head was five minutes and then you can't accuse him anymore. <laughs> I think it makes more sense that the fact that he's 10 is probably going to keep us from doing anything important. Yeah. So we're just going to kind of have to, I don't know, tell him not to do it again and hope he doesn't. What's this about a fire? Did I miss the fire part? Yeah. Is that, is that a metaphor or did something start on fire? Fire in the fury. Oh, no, it was a real fire. Damn, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that part, because we had to come find you, John, yeah. for ten hours. Why would you put a flammable can next to the heater? <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. He's white when it cause arson? <laughs> yeah. We were hoping you would believe that. Here we go, boys. Guess which statement you press. The fourth. Not the last one. Oh. But you were close. Four. Five. Let me double check. Next one. That'll do it. Uh, press. press. You said press, right? Yes. Good. Oh, I just gotta check. Because otherwise we gotta listen to babbling for five hours. Let's get a cat to scare him. <laughs> He's uh, quiet as a mouse. Oh my gosh, press him further, please. <laughs> you never not press them further. <laughs> One of these days, we'll not press further. Just for fun. Then you'll lose. But <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Unless it starts on fire, which is impossible. Especially if there's a fun little can just next to the bridge for no reason. Maybe he just collapsed from a heart attack and the head happened to fall next to him. Except there was a crushing, there were a bunch That's of crushing injuries. The heart crushed everything. <laughs> Basically, a giant, like, uh, rock from the sky landed on him and then floated back up into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it just hated that one person in particular. <laughs> Okay, one, that's a couple more statements. It, it could be no, the please. it could be the swamp from Super Mario Brothers because that's what they do. <laughs> oh my gosh, we need to go find them. <laughs> Did 
damn, this kid was probably traumatized. Are we gonna do anything about that? Nah, present the crime scene notes here. Alright. Which is the dead guy! <laughs> Absolutely. John, John, remember the dead guy? Remember how he was dead when you found him? Oh no. Oh yeah, we forgot the cheese stain. Oh, you're kidding me. Hang on, this is this is gonna blow your mind. You read ahead, didn't you? And it's not. I, it's not. It's not that far ahead. Okay. So now we gotta figure out what it's gonna be. Did he just spill a pack of the macaroni and cheese dust on himself? <laughs> it's so hard to make macaroni and cheese without the macaroni. <laughs> We're making macaroni and nothing. No, it's cheese and nothing. Oh, okay. Nothing and cheese. Yes, that's Lion Lily Pollen. It was the sunflower. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Dang it, Kay, you got it. <laughs> And here, we, and here all along, we just thought you were rambling words. Now Kay's figuring this all out by herself. She probably already knows who did it, but she's just gonna let us figure it out slowly. I get the feeling you probably know too, uh, but we gotta wait it out. Yeah, I have not... After I moved all those pins, and then we took like a four-week break, and I haven't looked at the board again, so... I need to remember my conspiracy theories. I have my notes. Yep, I know exactly where you said the incriminating thing that totally would give it away. Uh, which is now probably like a solid day of gameplay ago. Wow. Mm hmm. Has that episode come out yet? Oh, yes, it has. Oh, boy. And I've been watching him a little bit every time. One releases, and I have not. I don't know what it, the line is. Those were nice flowers, John. That's the real crime here. Yeah. <laughs> so. Nah, I don't know what to say. John somehow has not looked less suspicious yet. What the hell? Yeah. Crap, was it actually Courtney? Overruled. She's overruling your suspicion that it's Courtney. Hang on. Were you also there? Oh, oh, okay, no, you know that it was connected to her. Ah. There was some sneaky protecting your mother stuff going on. Well, good work, Sean. Now we suspect <laughs> Judge Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because after we have this sad moment, Lang's going to be like, Not so fast! Ha <laughs> ha! Back to suspecting your mom. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this lovey-dovey bullcrap needs to stop. I get to get out a scroll. <laughs> <laughs> the scroll says, "Shut up." <laughs> I hope. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I was hoping he would wait. Does he not believe it? Her name's not Missy. That's a terrible nickname. It really is. It's insulting the K's everywhere. Objection! You didn't even get out a scroll. You can't be right, Lang. Who? 
Uh oh, we gotta find out here? No, probably Blaze, right? Oh. Remember when we went to the indoor dump? <laughs> <laughs> it's the museum from the Indiana Jones! <laughs> <laughs> Remember this map? I do. I still wanna go to, uh. There was some place on here. Center? <laughs> so, yeah. Like, the biggest thing there is the freaking <laughs> tower. Seriously, all of that seaside property, and it's a dump. <laughs> well, I, I mentioned that they should put Sunshine Coliseum on the seashore, but nope. Mm -hmm. Although, can't you see the sea from Sunshine Coliseum? Probably. How, though? There's a dump in the way. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we're at a point where I'm gonna have to tell you something. Damn it. Okay. Almost. Oh yeah, let's just lay that down, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Can you, you can't you cannot see the sea from Sunshine Coliseum. I I checked. Oh, damn it. What? Did you go to Google Maps or something? <laughs> Google images, you were close. One tab away. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> One more time! Oh, no. <laughs> Did we just have a big thought? What, is Blaze gonna be yanked into this again somehow? Oh, damn right he is. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, this is, this is actually a really important moment. Okay, yeah, okay, we immediately drag Blaze into us, never mind. <laughs> What was he doing here? We did that part. Oh wait. Oh, that that works, right? We don't like Blaze. Yeah. No one does. No, not even his son. His son especially not. Yeah. Wait. Whoa. 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 That's a twelve years ago thing keeps popping up again. Was it 12 years ago when we did Turnabout Cake? Or am I getting my... I wouldn't... It probably is. Okay. Hey, Warden, how are you? Are you honored to be in our flashback? <laughs> it's a really tough flashback. <laughs> The fox is still licking away, though. Lickety lick. Yeah. The present's a little bit easier. Not so fast. Are you gonna slow down the game just to be not so fasting? Oh, we need to have evidence. Ray's a time traveler. He can randomly remember a story about when he and Gregory did this somehow. Okay, fine. We're not going to use Ray. Uh, we're going we're gonna to present a letter from Unknown, which I think is the second thing on the list. Yeah! yeah. The thing we collected from the last case, which didn't have any meaning then, but does now! It's a good thing we found it then! Okay, now get ready for a talking, um, marathon. Marathon's probably the right word. I would agree. Plot exposition dump incoming! And if you thought there weren't enough people at the freaking, uh, <laughs> film set, which <laughs> no one did, don't worry. They're gonna use it the maximum of the DS's RAM for this. <laughs> hmm. 
this gives me time to figure out the timeline for this all this freaking crap. Okay. Alrighty. I think there are two different incidents with the letter letter hyphen number. Uh real that have quick. Come up. Was that door behind Lang always bent up like that? I think it was I think it is supposed to be. Part of the plot. Huh. Who's here? Shifu? It's the man in black! You will forget everything that's happened. <laughs> Why? Ooh, ooh, that was a way long ago, actually. Okay. So, IS-7, which was the cake case, um, that was 2000. SS-5 is 2007. Okay. Seven plus twelve is nineteen. Yep. Dang it, you know, if we had timed this better, we could have played this last year and been like, we're doing it in the year the case takes place. Shifu, Shifu, Shifu. Wait, what are you going to yes. do, Kay? Just... Uh, Despite the fact that the first that IS-7 happened in 2000, it indirectly affected SS-5, yeah. <laughs> which is what's coming up, so we're good. Everything in this case is related. Just for the hell of it. So anyway, this really important case, uh, Lang doesn't actually know about it, so... Yeah, great. those scrolls are locked away. <laughs> Back of the dump, probably. <laughs> so then, why do you keep pretending like something important happened 12 years ago when you don't even know anything about it? Maybe he ha he has a uh, conspiracy theory board like I do. <laughs> Seriously, everyone kills each other freaking like christmas -y times. Yeah. Snow's on the ground, bam! Stabbing. Ooh, it's a little chilly outside, better shoot the neighbors. It's ridiculous. What? Who has that kind of money? I mean, you can't just print it, right? You are the government. <clears throat> they probably just did emergency GoFundMe. <laughs> uh, guys, so the president's okay, but he needs a new jacuzzi <laughs> that costs $100 million <laughs> in the next four hours. <laughs> And if you give a donation of $1,000 or more, we will give you a free t-shirt saying, <laughs> I heart Zhang Fa. You get five minutes in the jacuzzi. 